Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's been a minute, it's been a minute. Uh, today is the 19th of April. I know it's been a while. Get that away. It's been a while, so uh, I'm gonna basically film a little vlog all day today as I'm off uh, work, no training and take you on the journey as to what's going on. And I'm gonna fill you in with everything that's been going on in the past couple of months. I think it's the last vlog I did was um, before I went away to Dubai, the photo shoot one. So stay tuned. <laughs> Right, yo, we're back. We're back on the vlog. The fill you, in, fill you guys in with what's been going on over the past couple of months, where I'm at, and everything. Uh, training, business, uh, life in general. From the last video, the vlog was the photo shoot. I was prepping for the holiday, and I also planned to get married. Way! So I actually got married out there in Dubai. Um, whole tight mom for organising the whole. Um, event and everyone that helped out so and she's here <laughs> Do you want to say hello? No. All right. She don't want to say hello because uh, she just got out of bed in it. So. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna um, we're gonna take these off. We're gonna head back to her house and um, get a few things and be off to the Licky Hills. I was actually meant to do um, some vlogs previously. I've got a bit of stuff recorded, but never really got round to. Putting anything out. Instead of the weekly vlogs that I was doing, what I kind of did when I got back from from Dubai, sort of had a restructure in my business and spent a lot of time, and still am actually spending a lot of time on the business. Um, she just she just nod me because I ain't got my ring on. Oh, tight no ring. Where's your ring? Let's see. Nice. Launched a website. Did a lot of things with the web that, that took her um, quite a while to get sorted. I'll take Craig on that one. If you're a personal trainer and you need someone to hook you up with a, an amazing wicked website, just get in contact with me and I'll give you Craig's details. So that was one thing, having a restructure uh, and really focusing more on the business. About If you're thinking of becoming a trainer, uh, how it's not or kind of uh, straightforward it, the training the training and getting clients and marketing and sales and there's so much towards it so much behind the scene work that goes on if you're thinking of getting into personal training I would uh, speak to trainers first to get an insight of what goes on behind the scenes um, because I've learned a lot in the past like six months I'd say since going solo so when I got back busy behind the scenes with all the business stuff and also I was on a mission to collect equipment uh, so I've just over time I've been collecting my own sort of gym equipment to fill up in the studio you might have noticed that the studio that the studio gym is looking a bit more fuller now uh, there's not much space to kind of uh, put anything else in so I'm gonna add a clip in now of that one trip I did to Doncaster at the petrol station uh, 6.30 p.m. 26th of March and just waiting to actually put some air in my tyres because I'm about to do a mission to Doncaster 100 miles away another mission to pick up some equipment in the infamous Micra I found um, a whole other kit on Spock, hold tight Spock the training app Good stuff, cable, pulley machine, some um, heavier dumbbells which I'm after for a while, a rack, a bench, um, getting it for a good, good price. It's a risk I'm taking, it's an investment I'm, I'm preparing for and willing to take. So I'm just documenting it for you, uh, for anyone who 
is in a similar position or wants to kind of find their own career path just giving my story um because one day you know it's gonna happen and it'd be nice to look back at these videos and reflect on the hard work and the risks the risks I, i've taken i'm taking now to see it all pay off so about to set off um, i'm just gonna pretty much floor it and then i'll see you on the other side Peace. so made it to doncaster just pulled up outside the shop. I need to get some cash out because he wants some cash. And um, it looks like I'll be able to get the stuff in. Um, just basically get all the stuff in this car, man. It's, it's crazy, man, these missions run. But I'll look back on them one day, unless it's madness. But they're all spit like that, don't they? You know, I go to it. You got, if you got a cash machine around here, goes, if you go down, if you go down, rotate, right? Equipment's in, flipping out, what under the mission. See you back home in front. Touched down back in Brom. Um, I'm just gonna empty out a few things here. Uh, won't be too long. And then um, head back home. I'm just gonna show you. Oh, the back of the boot. It's a mad thing. So I sort of went away from doing the vlogs and sort of uh, started doing a bit more content in terms of educating training wise and a bit of um, what is the, mo the mobility stuff so if you if you go onto my channel you'll see a lot of training videos and mobility training uh, there is a lot more videos that I want to do in terms of stuff on nutrition and more exercise stuff I'm gonna try and uh, get done I've actually got the pro I'm in the process of, of a a video on calories that, that will be coming out so stay tuned for right, that one so we've got a bit of road rage going on here a bit scared actually because uh driving a bit too fast so you can't you can't now because obviously there's cars in front why do you drive so fast i don't huh i don't you do man so what's happened with my own training you're probably wondering well obviously what they say once once you get married you know, the weight starts piling on, isn't it? Isn't that true? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I haven't really, haven't really taken, um, I haven't really focused too much on my own training. More just, more really just taking a step back and um, spending a lot more time on the business. So it's more about balancing your training and your work and family and all that, etc. So, and also another thing, another real reason why I'm not training as much is because I don't really have anything to train for as of now. I'm not really competing in any sort of sport. So it's more just for like, just general keeping fit and getting stronger, which is all good. There's nothing really wrong with that, but um, it's quite hard to kind of, uh, especially when you're training by yourself, it's quite hard to kind of motivate yourself. And whereas if you're training with someone, you, you can you can push each other, each other. A workout Wednesday challenge, that's my, Pretty much 30 seconds work of training a week and I'm only messing. But obviously no excuses, not, not trying to make any excuses, but you just gotta find the right balance and slot it in when you can. How long is this journey man? You've gone the wrong way man. You don't tell me which way to go. She should know where you're going man, what's this? Another tip here is um, if you're a solo trainer and to kind of release some of the work, if it's editing videos, doing general admin stuff, it's best to kind of start outsourcing those things so you can focus on the things that you need to be doing. If you go over to Upwork, you can find people all over the world who have certain skills that really should be doing those things for you. I mean, for example, um, I've kind of outsourced some of the admin jobs from someone um, in the Philippines, and you're paying something cheap, like, I don't know, three dollars an hour. So, you know, just start off small, even though as you grow, obviously, you can start to um, outsource more stuff, but really, you're gonna burn yourself out like I've kind of experienced, if you're gonna try and juggle everything and still deliver training sessions, it's, it's quite a lot on 
um, on yourself to do those things. So start straight away, go on to Upwork, make yourself an account and get outsourcing stuff straight away because this stuff is not easy to do and you want to try and maintain a professional image and you know professional relationships with your with your clients and if you're always working flat out you're gonna struggle and so yeah so that's my advice head over to Upwork and get outsourcing some of those jobs the vlog continues Hello. who are you Jaden hey. so you know how I said I was gonna have it pretty much well day off uh, well doing a bit of work on the laptop so I brought it with me so I'm just gonna show you I'm actually working on one of my ebooks. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. Oh yeah, Luke, give me a second. A sneak peek. Book. Uh, just getting edited on that. So just just uh, speaking with a guy on Skype to do the final edits. What are you saying? Can you see my math book? Math book. Go on then, what is it? Five, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. What, hold on, hold on. You, what, you, what you done there? What's that say? After 40? No. What, 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 what have you written? Oopsie. Oh, you did it wrong, you did it wrong, mate. Come on. Did it. What have you done? What is it now? 45, 50, 80, 90, 100. Way, high five, way. So, it's nearly 10 to 2 and Madam said she was going to be ready for half one. Long thing. Women, eh? Question. We're all eating more. Question is, why? How come? Because it's all there. You know what? It was there before. Hey. We're all eating more. Each additional sugared sweetened drink increase over a 19 month follow up period in kids increased their BMI by this much and their odds risk ratio for obesity by 60%. Okay, that's a prospective study on soft drinks and obesity. The Are we finally ready? No! How can we take so long to get ready? I'm a girl. That's what girls do. Nearly two hours. Two hours actually. Quarter past one, you went upstairs. Bloody hell. Yeah. Right, so change of plan. Seeing as she took how long? Two hours to get ready. We're not going to uh, Licky Hills, instead, Star City to, to do what? Um, get, get, <laughs> get some food and that all good. So, that's the plan. Bowling. So, obviously, I'm going to win. So, put it down. Pop first, first go, strike. about to get a munch on. Where are we? What's his name? Teddy. Is that his oh. name? Go on. What's the, what's, what's your win? Hey. What have we got here then? Chutney, chicken, paneer, lamb chops. 
getting on. Some fires in the corner. Big bees, big bees. So obviously I'm on a bulking diet. <laughs> it's crazy how the difference when you're dieting specifically to get lean or whatever um, and to like now where I'm kind of eating whatever. Obviously when, I'm, when you're leaning out you want to try to minimize your, your carbs and your, your sugars and uh, you get really sent you you become really sensitive when you do start to diet down to those sort of things well I do anyway anyway that's Star City done and that's it really just about going about the business trying to generate leads trying to do everything keep on top of it all what I did originally was plan like 4, 8, 12, 16 4 months in advance my social media calendar so end of April so I'll do that again for the next four, three to four months. I want to advise people, uh, trainers, to get their social media calendar up and running. Just kind of saves time and having to kind of just put anything out for, um, just for the sake of it. So obviously if it's planned and has a purpose, you're gonna do well in your posts and, your, and the actual content that you're delivering. So in terms of blogging, yeah, it's not really my, my main focus. I want to get more content in terms of educating people out there. I mean, you might pick one or two things up when I'm vlogging, but and I might give tips like throughout the vlog. However, I'm going to do a bit more focus on topics and getting those sort of videos out. So anyway, that's the uh, vlog wrapped up. Until next time. I'm going to say anything, fam. See you later. <laughs>